Hi there. I believe most of us are working full time in some company, but lately you also realize that you need to sharpen your skills in the field of deep learning, but don't have much time to explore and where to learn, right? And you are in the crossroad of should you go for paid courses or free courses? And also the problem is there are n number of free courses and n number of paid courses out there, and trust me, about 95% of those free or paid tutorials don't even deliver what they are supposed to they only have catchy names and big bucks you know string to it and that's it and we all have faced a similar situation like that and have learned from heat and trial and is really frustrating sometimes but recently i have completed the coursera's deep learning specialization taught by andrew ying himself and in that course i have not only learned about the state of the art methods but i can now take that knowledge and apply it in my day to day tasks He has taught not only the underlying math but also how to first implement them from scratch and then use the latest frameworks such as TensorFlow and Keras. He has delivered the content in such a way that I now feel encouraged to start my own fundamental research in the field of deep learning and also apply the newly earned skills from the Coursera specialization. It has 5 courses and in this video today I'm going to discuss how to complete the entire specialization in less than a month and by paying only $49. So let's get into the details and see uh, let me share my experience with you. So welcome back to our channel Mirror Neuron which means watch and learn and let's continue with the discussion. So here just to get started I just put my certificate here uh, to just let you know that i have actually completed it and i'm just not just making it up <laughs> okay anyways certificate worth is not more than a piece of paper unless you've actually learned uh, you know whatever that uh, tutorial has taught okay so what we are going to cover in this video today is you know what are the topics that are being covered in that deep learning specialization and how it is going to help you second the timeline which i have followed to complete the course in less than a month uh it is not going to cost you more than 49 dollar max and the common questions such as can a beginner take this course or not so let's see all right so this is the strict timeline which i have followed for this course and you can see in week 1 Uh, which is actually a free trial from Coursera, and during that week, I have completed the neural networks and deep learning basics, uh, the first course. I have also completed in that seven days the quizzes and the exercises, and it took me roughly about eight to nine hours. Okay, so depending on how good you are with Python and the in general understanding and grasping concept, add a plus minus one or two hours to that. okay but should not take you more than uh, say 7 hours to say 11 hours right within that range so in week 2 uh, i have completed course 2 and course 3 so course 2 is all about the improving the deep learning uh, deep neural networks so basically you learn about different ways you can tune the hyperparameters and the parameters the optimization techniques and so on so it took me around 7 to 8 hours to complete the quizzes and the video tutorials and the course 3 is all about how to structure a machine learning project and i'm going to spend more time on this discussing what all i have learned in the in a minute or two uh, just so stay tuned and i have during the weekdays of week 2 i have completed the video tutorials as well as the quizzes and not the exercises so i completed the week 2 uh exercises from course 2 and course 3 during the weekend of week 2 and in week 3 as you must have already seen i have taken course 4 ahead of course 5 because i'm currently working on nlp project at my work so i was trying to see if there are some better techniques which i can use then it would be really helpful for me you know showing my manager that you know i i have latest methods to work on those projects so i took the week course 4 on the last week and i tried to complete all the exercises and the assignments within the weekdays so that before i hit uh the month 
uh, for the course I can complete the course and also cancel my subscription so basically this was a very simple timeline which I have followed and I did not spend more than two to three hours per day okay and also I did not sit down to three hours continuously to complete this course what I have done is as you will see in the specialization course each and every videos are mostly about seven to eight minutes long I'm taking the average okay and uh, what you can do is you can sneak in like every uh, seven eight minutes like you know every one hour or two hour and what you can do is you just try to utilize the best of your time so that you can complete this course and Coursera being available on your desktop or on your mobile device you can access the videos from anywhere right so just try to utilize the time and what I have done is basically I used to study for say one hour and then I would take a five minute break and during a eight to nine hours daytime, uh, I would complete like say a, an hour of studies. And then what I used to do is for this last three, four weeks, I have actually spent uh, half an hour. I stayed half an hour late in the office and I came half an hour early in the office so that I can actually spend those 30 minutes pure 30 minutes before the office starts and after the office ends I can utilize this total two hours in a day so that I can complete this course and it doesn't take you know too much of effort to invest two hours per day you can also spend say 30 minutes at home or in the early morning whatever way you are comfortable because I'm a new father so you know I cannot work at home because my kid would keep throwing my laptop away <laughs> so I have to spend uh, the daytime uh, judiciously all right so any prerequisites i would say no but if you're good with uh, vectors matrices gradient descent and have already used the libraries such as numpy and matplotlib then you should be already good to go and this co this tutorial actually covers uh, all the coding exercises and uh, you know the step by step algorithm and everything in detail so you don't need to know everything beforehand and in this course also the coding exercise will be done within the coursera platform so you don't even have to uh, install anything on your local machine just if you think that your uh, concepts of vectors matrices gradient descent error function cost function all those things are a bit rusty then I would say go to our channel youtube.com slash c slash mirror neuron and just take the mathematics playlist from there and it will cover everything for you all free of cost okay so in the course one you can see there are total 46 videos and it took me roughly eight to nine hours in uh, and that too in the first week to complete it it actually covers the basics of neural network from scratch step by step and everything that you need to know how a neural networks work so that it gives you that confidence that whatever you learn you're just you know learning on top of it so course one is very important just to make sure your underlying foundation is strong enough this course also introduced yes, you to very important topics such as how to derive or take the derivative of cost function and also important concepts such as activation function, gradient descent in neural networks and very important topics such as backpropagation and random initialization. These are important topics because if random initialization and backpropagation are basically the crux of deep learning. And then it also talks about shallow and deep neural networks, how to construct them and how to implement them from scratch as well. And it will also teach you the building blocks of deep, deep neural networks. It also teaches you the parameters and hyperparameters. So as you must have already know that uh, parameters are something which we learn from the data and hyperparameters are something which we use uh, manually or systematically to tune our algorithms. And this book, uh, sorry this course uh, basically introduce you uh, a, a requirement that why parameter and hyperparameters are important which they basically have covered in the course too so this course too also teaches you about uh, optimization algorithm in depth such as mini batch gradient descent exponentially weighted average bias correction gradient descent with momentum now you tend to see that why we have we need advanced techniques is basically to make sure that you can solve this gradient descent problem quickly otherwise you'll spend months and months in just training the data and it will take a long time to complete and you will not be able to utilize it right so it's important that your algorithm 
runs fast, converges fast, and gives you the results fast. So you have another important algorithms such as RMS prop, ADM optimization algorithm, and you also learn the concepts of learning rate decay, problem of local optima, batch normalization, softmax regression, and so on. You'll also get introduced to uh, frameworks such as TensorFlow and Keras to show that many of those activities are already taken care of by the tools itself. So you just need to know the concept, the tool will do the rest of the things for you. This course took me roughly seven to eight hours. It's one of the simplest course out there, and but equally important. Course three is all about how to structure machine learning project. So for example, if you have been doing machine learning say for a, um, almost a year or two, now you already know how to create a model and probably start a project, a simple project, from end to end, right? But what about if you are talking about a million dollar project, your company hands over to you, how do you plan to make sure that you're taking the right steps? So this course covers it all. It takes, because I've seen many team actually struggle to even plan how to even start a machine learning project and let aside structure them. So this tutorial will teach you about orthogonalization, satisficing and optimizing metrics, how to distribute your data properly, what is your human level performance, why it is important to take that into account and all those things. It will also teach you how to conduct error analysis clean up the incorrect label data and also address the data mismatch. Very important topics such as transfer learning and multitask learning. Transfer learning is something say, uh, so Tesla have built something in self-driving car. How can you use that model for your project? That kind of concepts, right? So that you don't have to train everything from scratch. And these are very important topics in today's world in the field of deep learning. And also how do we do end-to-end -end deep learning? There is also a very interesting autonomous driving case study as well. Course five, as you've seen in my uh, couple of minutes back that I took course five ahead of course four. Although these courses are independent, so you can take them in any sequence. Uh, uh, it explains the uh, about natural language processing and more about sequence models, right? It introduces you to concepts such as RNN, recurrent neural networks, and in what scenarios you can you are going to use them. Then on top of it, you build a gated recurrent unit and then long short term memory uh, algorithm. These are very popular popular these days. And then you also learn about bidirectional RNN and why it works better than the vanilla RNN. Then you also implement deep recurrent uh, neural networks and having done that we need to learn how to represent words, sentences and documents as vectors which are the first step in machine learning tasks anyways. You learn about word embeddings, globe word vectors, sentiment classification, advanced topics such as beam search, blue score, attention models, speech recognition and trigger word detection which you must have already using in your iPhone or Android devices such as Hi Alexa, Hey Siri, Hello Google, etc. and much more. How do you build this kind of systems are also covered uh, as part of this course. Course 4, around 44 videos, took me around 8 to 10 hours. It is very interesting course, it might even take less time but the videos itself are around 7 hours of uh, content. So in this course, uh, you are going to learn about convolutional neural network from scratch and uh, start from the basics such as how to do edge detection, padding, strides, one layer and multiple layer of CNN, and then you go on to max pooling layers and why one should use CNN and so on. Andrew Wing has done a tremendously good job in explaining the latest algorithms such as ResNet, Inception uh, Networks, Transfer Learning, and how to add new data using data augmentation and current state of the computer vision. You will then also learn uh, the next step which are more interesting such as object detection and you learn about object localization and you will learn how to identify the coordinates of an eye in a face right and then implementation of sliding windows and so on. You will also implement uh, these bounding boxes you must have seen many deep learning videos these days where there is a bounding box traveling in parallel with the uh, cars and persons and pedestrians and so on so you are going to actually implement all those things and you learn the basic concepts so that you can take those uh, knowledge and implement it in your own project the code is right out there you have to just take it and apply it and you learn about yolo algorithm which is one of the latest uh, methods in cnn it's it's called as you only look once 
then you also learn more advanced topics such as one shot learning like how to learn from a single picture siamese networks triplet loss how to build face verification and face identification algorithms and what are the deep continents learning actually what are the what they are internally doing and also how to take these experiences and use in 1d and 3d data now these are the five courses as you might have seen all these topics are really you know are intertwined with each other and you put them one in place with another so that you can bring uh, you know all these concepts in place and implement them in your day-to-day -day projects now um, people might ask that why is the certificate for this course important this certificate is not at all important uh, right this certificate doesn't have more value than just a piece of paper uh, what is more important as you've seen the topics are all the latest methods all the research article that andrew ing himself is referring are covered in these uh, five courses you learn the latest methods you'll see what works what does not work what are the limitation what are the pros and cons all those has been discussed here so as a beginner i would definitely say you should take this course to see where the world is instead of reading simple books you know books are good but they are very much outdated and nobody is writing books as new methods are getting published right so instead you should read research paper and that's what these five courses will encourage you and they will also teach you what are the papers you should start with so i believe this will give you a clear idea that why you should take this deep learning specialization it is benefiting me a lot because i'm using the concepts right from the way, time i have started learning it in my day-to-day -day work and i'm definitely sure that it is going to help you too and it is also necessary that if you are preparing for a deep learning interview many of these concepts are quite new to me as well uh, and i found it very much beneficial so this is how i have completed the five courses within a month and by just paying 49 dollars so i hope this will this information is going to help you a lot and you can complete these courses as well all right so stay tuned to our channel and take care and should you have any questions or doubts please feel free to uh, make a comment and i'll be more than happy to you know uh, answer them Gracias.